Boy, what a disappointment. Hey campus, George here. Boy, have I got a dilemma. I went shopping again online, Amazon. And this time, it wasn't a good thing. I was looking for a reasonably inexpensive bushcraft knife. And I, I looked around and I came across one and I thought I recognized the name Never really looked at their things, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. Boy, what a disappointment. It is this guy. And it is the Elk Ridge Bushcraft ER555 Series Fixed Blade Bushcraft Knife with Survival Kit. That's how it was described. It, it took a while to get you, obviously, the situation right now, and it, it actually took about a month. And it came in, I was pretty excited, I wanted to see this guy, and I opened it up and had a look-see. Not good. Um, right off the bat, there was things that I didn't really like. You know, I'm a, I'm a plain type guy. I want a knife where the sheath is reasonably plain, there's nothing fancy about it, no extras that you can't use. I don't want things on there that just make it look pretty. I just want... A good knife in a good sheath that's going to do the job I need it for. And this guy didn't meet a lot of those requirements. So let's have a look at it. So here it is here. And it comes in a sheath. It's that ballistic, I don't know what it's called, the, you know, the black stuff. It's, it's a big, heavy-duty sheath. It, it is pretty good. A couple of things. This. What that is, I don't know. They have this fold over, which I assume this is where you put your belt in. It's Velcroed. And yeah, I, I, I can't see that working with a lot of belts. Now, the belt I have is fairly wide. It's probably that wide. It doesn't give a lot for it to attach to. That was the first thing I noticed, this is Velcro. They have the knife sitting inside and it has its clip on there. Nothing wrong with the clip, works fine. Uh, it's one of those push-in clips. But then they have this on the side. I don't know if you can, there you can see it there. See this on either side going around the back to yet more Velcro. Don't know what that's for. Now, they, I see here, they have another piece of Velcro on the inside. The only thing I can think of is that so that you can put it on your belt this way. So it's a, a vertical connection. Uh, I think the knife is just too big for that. And they have this five, well, I think it's 550 cord. They say it is 550 cord. On the bottom here, which I assume when you have it on your belt goes around your leg to make it stable. One of the pictures they showed online was having it like this around your neck. Now, <laughs> it's a pretty big knife and it's not light. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going through this thing. We haven't even got to the knife yet. And I found all these things that I, I don't like. Um, on the front, they do have a little pouch. And in the pouch is the survival kit. Basically what it is, is a fire starter kit. It's a ferro rod uh, with a striker. And it also has a little sharpening stone. I, I don't have a problem with that. The way they did it, I have a problem with. Um, on the front here, you can see you've got this huge clip on the front. Keeps the pouch closed. Acts as the lid with this big, humongous clip on it. They used Velcro everywhere else. Why didn't they just Velcro that down? 
Why they have this on here, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally missing the point here. But this sheet's not working for me. Inside the pouch, they have the sharpening stone, which seems okay. I, you know, I don't know enough about sharpening stones to know if it's any good or not. I'm sure it'll sharpen. And then you have the ferro rod, nice small little one like this. It looks fine. Little handle on the back with some string on it. And then they have the striker. Striker is a little unusual in that it has these ridges on it. It, it works. Not a big spark, but it is a pretty small little ferro rod and you could start a fire with it, no problem. Why they have them separate, I don't know. I would have put them both on one. That's the basics of the pouch and the survival kit to the knife. Now, like I said, it has a little clip on it here so you can pull it out and the, it works fine. And here it is here. And it looks like a nice solid knife. And on here it has Elk Ridge Bushcraft on it there. And on the other side it says ER555 Stainless Steel Custom Design. And they use this, <laughs> one of my favorite words, if you've seen some of my videos on my $5 bargains, they have, it's that packer wood handle. And I don't have a problem with that stuff. It seems to work just fine. Very plain handle, no real finger ridges or anything like that. I didn't have a problem with that. And it's pretty wide. The only thing I'm feeling is that when you, when you grab it, it's almost boxy. And these edges here are a little bit too sharp. Um, it is full tang. Looks fine. Stainless steel. Now, one thing I did notice is how deep the grind is on. See it there? That's a pretty deep, I believe the correct word is concave, grind on it. And it's, it's really, really deep. And it gets pretty thin there, which I don't have a problem with. Tip is a nice sharp point. And then here's where it really failed. I don't expect the manufacturer to send me something that is just absolutely 100% sharp. But I, I, I got to tell you, this is not even close. I'm really bad at sharpening a blade. It has no edge to it at all. And I'm looking at the blade on this side, the edge looks really clean. On the other side, not so much. I'm seeing Almost looks like nicks in the blade. It's like it's got nicks on one side. So very disappointing. The overall length, 10 and a half inches. It's not, it's not a small knife. It's pretty big for a bushcraft knife. I wouldn't call this a bushcraft knife. Typically, bushcraft knives are a little smaller. The blades are a little bit shorter. This I would just call a general camp knife. And it's not bad size. The weight is okay. It's stainless steel and it has this kind of finish on it. A bushcraft knife, no. Camp knife, yes. Sharpness, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's the worst I've ever seen. The handle is just okay. Maybe I've just been lucky in my purchases and what I've found online. This is such a disappointment for me. I was really disappointed. You know, the last knife I got was the Mossy Oaks one. Um, I, I don't know enough about Elk Ridge. I went online and had a look and they have a couple of things out there and the reviews were okay. I didn't see anybody complaining about anything. I didn't see a lot about this. I got it from a legitimate company. Just very disappointing. I mean, it's not going to cut anything. Let's see if it'll cut this. Well, it kind of cuts it. No, not really. <laughs> it's got an edge to it, but it's nowhere near what it should be. And I mean, not even close. All in all, very disappointing. You know, I'm sure you could clean this up. 
You could get rid of a lot of the fluff on here. The, this stuff, I don't think you need. This is terrible. I would get rid of the Velcro and just sew it across there and uh, not have the Velcro on there. Maybe on the smaller your back, it's a little bit too long. Like I said, it's a 10 and a half inch knife. Have it on the side, it's going to be sticking out a little bit for me. So I'm not sure what to do if I should just send it back. I, I'm going to have to think about it. <laughs> so there you go, campers. Unfortunately, not a good outcome for me. I'm not a big fan of uh, finding a lot of things wrong with something that you just purchased and you wanted to show the people that follow you. But after thinking about it for a while, I decided I need to put it out. I've been trying over the past couple of months to find items for people who, who want to go outdoors and, and try it out and learn and that sort of thing and find them something inexpensive that'll do the job, do it fairly well at the price, and then they can from there move on up as they get more comfortable in the outdoors and, and understand why you and I are always out there playing in the outdoors. Unfortunately, this doesn't make the grade, not even for a starter. I can't recommend it. I'm going to go back and have a look at their website and see what else they have. I'm hoping I can find some good out of this. I'm going to look at some of their other products and maybe check them out and maybe do a review. Who knows? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back. Maybe we can find something positive at Elk Ridge. Just say. Thanks for watching. Bye.